So we'll now look at how we can connect to our MySQL server uh, within our droplet. And we can do this in uh, a couple of ways or a few ways. The first way we're going to look at is doing this within the terminal. And the second way we're going to look at doing this is with a MySQL client like SQL Pro. Now, this is a really good option because you can have this as a native application on your computer. And you can go ahead and just connect and manage your database this way. It avoids the need to have to use something like PHP My Admin, which we will be looking at in the next video, but I would highly recommend uh, you do it this way. It just means you don't have to upload PHP My Admin to your server to actually manage your database. So if you are using Windows, there are uh, alternative solutions to SQL Pro, which is an OSX only piece of software. Uh, so there's one called Heidi SQL, which pretty much does exactly the same thing as SQL Pro. So you can go ahead and download that, uh, install that, and you can connect pretty much how I'm going to. So the first thing that we want to do then is uh, SSH into our server. Remember we uh, use SSH command, we choose our project uh, private key, and we uh, hook up to our server. However you're doing this, whether you're doing it through PuTTY, uh, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So remember we get this message, our MySQL user's password is this. Uh, when we ran the MySQL secure installation command earlier in the series, you might have changed your root password, in which case you're going to want to use that. But I didn't, so I'm going to use this one. And just a word of warning, you're not always going to want to connect using your root account. You might want to go ahead and look up how you can create additional MySQL users uh, with very specific permissions. And that means that you're uh, securing the account that you're connecting to by not allowing certain operations like dropping entire tables. The root account pretty much has all privileges. So to go ahead and do this then, we're going to use the MySQL command uh, or, or the MySQL manager within our terminal. We're going to go ahead and choose the user by using the U option. And we're going to choose uh, or use the P option to say that we want to provide a password. And now we just paste that password in and we're into our MySQL monitor. So from here, we can do things like show our databases. You see we have three at the moment. We can go ahead and create a database if we want to. Uh, we can create tables on that database. We can update it. If you're used to using SQL in a terminal to do things like this, this will be the perfect way for you to do it. So you have free reign over whatever you want to do within here. We're not going to look in, into this too much. We're going to go straight over to using SQL Pro to connect with our uh, private key. So uh, we want to keep note of this password because we're going to have to enter it here. So uh, you need to choose your SSH option. So you need to uh, be able to SSH into this. And we have quite a few options here, but they're all pretty standard. So the first thing is the MySQL host. We know that this is just going to be our IP address. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. Our username for our MySQL server is root. And remember, we have our MySQL password here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that into there. We don't need to choose the database. That will just flick you straight over to your database. And the port we don't need to change. It's going to be 3306 uh, standard MySQL port. So the SSH host is the same as the MySQL host. The SSH user is root. Now, this isn't the same as our MySQL user. This is just basically our server's uh, user. And we now need to change out uh, or choose rather our SSH password. So in my case, I'm going to hit this key and I can go ahead and choose project my private key. So I click on this and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit test connection. You can see that's tested and uh, we have a connection succeeded. So I'm going to save these. I currently have this stored in a favorite just over here and I'm going to hit connect. And that's going to uh, basically connect me to my SQL, my SQL server. So now within here, you pretty much can do what you want. We see them three tables that we saw earlier when we were connecting uh, within our terminal. We can go ahead and add a new database. So we could create a project database. We can go ahead and add tables here. So we can add a users table, for example, and we can go ahead and modify the structure of it. 
can do pretty much whatever we want over here. So now, obviously, these changes are going to be reflected. So if we do a show databases in here, we have that project. So if we use project, we can go ahead and show tables. And there we go. So it's pretty much, you know, exactly the same thing. But there we have the ability to connect to our server uh, via a MySQL client. And we've also looked at doing this within our terminal. Now in the next video, although I don't entirely advise it, we're going to look at how we can use PHP MyAdmin on our server to manage our database if we want or databases.